Polls are still open. You have until 8 p.m. to cast a ballot in person or by mail and bring to a close what's become a tumultuous and expensive midterm election cycle. The first national election of Joe Biden's presidency and key congressional races in New Jersey could have a significant impact on the nation. All 12 of New Jersey's congressional seats are on the ballot. Ten are currently held by Democrats who are hoping to maintain control of the U.S. House. Two seats here held by Republicans hoping to gain more with their party increasingly optimistic about their national chances of shifting the balance of power in both chambers of Congress tonight. Our reporters are in all the major districts for congressional races and the local seats we're watching tonight. We begin with senior correspondent Brenda Flanagan in District 7 tracking Tom Kane Jr. Brenda. Bree, a steady stream of voters turned out today in Westfield. It's the home of Tom Kane Jr., who is the Republican challenger in the 7th Congressional District race. This is the race to watch. The top concern is who gets to control Congress. Voters like Frank Todaro realize it's a tight contest between Republican Kane and incumbent Democrat Tom Malinowski. Ballots cast here could flip the seventh, a district redrawn to make it redder. Analysts say the race is leaning Republican and that could help alter the balance of power in Congress. Todaro voted for Malinowski. So that will have a tremendous influence on uh, the direction of the country. I voted for Tom Kane. Why? And because his father was a wonderful governor. He's uh, been good at what he's done. Kane's run a campaign designed to duck local news media scrutiny and stuck tightly to the Republican Party's message this fall, focused on inflation, crime, and immigration. It resonated with public angst over high prices at the pump and the supermarket. Inflation, crime, high prices at the grocery store. So what, who did you vote for? Republican all the way. I'm leaning more toward the Democratic side. Um, the most important thing for me is the economy um, and women's rights, definitely. Polls show that while economic concerns did backburner social issues like abortion with some voters, many did come out to vote for a litany of social issues. It's not just abortion, it's not just the democracy, it's the combination of everything else. Tom Kane usually votes here at Westfield's Wilson Elementary School, but avoided reporters and voted earlier in October. We'd have asked Kane, who says he backs the Trump agenda, about the former president's recent promise of a very big announcement next week, possibly about running again for the Oval Office. Voters certainly noticed. I cannot vote Republican, especially when I hear that on November 15th, someone is going to go out and announced that he is going to be running again. I think voters have moved on from Donald Trump and, and for Republicans, at least in the seventh district, that's a, that's a good thing. And I think it'll be a bit of an advantage for Tom. Republican analyst Mike Duhame says turnout's been steady. This is Tom Kane's third shot at the seventh congressional district seat. It's a rematch with Malinowski, who beat him by a scant 5,000 votes last time around. Will third time be the charm? In Westfield, I'm Brenda Flanagan, NJ Spotlight News.